Hi, my name's Simon from Sailing Britikin. We're here to help you become successful boating cruisers. Today, we're gonna to show you one of our favorite destinations in Grenada, Lafar Blue Marina. This is one place you don't wanna miss. Between our week-long Britikin experiences and our family sailing trips, we always return to Lafar Blue Marina. The Far Blue Marina is one of the least expensive in the area. The water is free and it's drinkable. There's a great pool to swim in. There are comfy beach chairs and there is swinging hammocks and there's also a beautiful beach. And you get free access to lasers and Hobie cats. Customs and immigration are on site. And family and friends can come visit us and stay at one of the cute cottages on site, or there are a few lower cost Airbnb rental options above the resort. And there's a happy hour at the bar restaurant between four and six every day. Cheers. The restaurant staff are amazing. Every time we return, we get welcomed back as if we're part of the family. I'm sat here or a piece of history. It is a 1900 light ship all the way from Sweden. It's got a bar in here behind me. On a Friday night, it's just fantastic. This was one of the last light ships to be used in Sweden. And then a family bought it and turned it into a house. And down below us was a garage for two cars, which is just amazing. And then the people here, the owners of Lafar Blue bought it, shipped it over, and it's now a bar. Also a place for us to go and take showers. They're hot. Every day the light ship is empty, so I often use it for my office. Not a bad view. Here we are in sunny Grenada, which is right at the south part of the uh, Caribbean islands. So let's just zoom in. What you need to do is as you're coming along, you need to find a yellow marker boy, and then head for that, then cut in there is some shallows here which are not marked on the Navionics here, which are quite shallow. Then you'll see two channel markers. There's two reds and a green. I always stay close to the red as possible because it's a little deeper for me, but we're quite a deep drafted boat. Once you get past this little reef here, it's quite easy to come in. You just have to be aware of this little reef that comes round. As you're coming into the marina, you can call on 16 and talk to the lads on there and they'll tell you where to go. Now you can either go alongside on here or on these arms coming out here, you can go like what they're doing med mooring where you go stern to and you pick up a line which is attached to a concrete block in the middle here and you tie that off on your bow. The guys there are great and they're really eager to help you. So we've listed 10 great reasons why we think you should stay at Lafar Blue Marina, but believe it or not, there's 10 more. Click here to find out what they are.